there is a word for what we are about to see. It's a goal that's in the minds of the Blue Angels each time they perform the difficult art of formation flying. That word is perfection. And to constantly seek perfection is the experience of being a Blue Angel. So it's fly about six years in the military, and once we're selected, we train about four months. How do you guys train to play this? But, you know, every pilot the, the Blue Angels are goodwill ambassadors for the Navy and have entertained millions of people since their beginnings in 1946. Their audiences think of them as men who spend most of their time in the sky. But actually, 90% of the job is done on the ground, meeting people, visiting schools and hospitals, getting involved in the communities they visit. Okay, here you go. This While works. the Blues meet people before and after the show, it's still the flight demonstration that brings out the crowds. For the Blue Angels, it's the opportunity they want to be able to demonstrate their professionalism as pilots. Like the show? Miramar Naval Air Station, California, one of the 80 shows the Blues appear in during a season. The crowd is expectant. They know that for the next several minutes, they will be spectators to the ultimate in formation flying. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Since 1946, the Blue Angels have had the rare privilege to demonstrate the precision techniques of naval aviation, hoping to inspire our young men and women to choose careers in the United States Navy and Marine Corps. The Blue Angels fly the McDonnell Douglas A4F Skyhawk II, a single-seat light attack aircraft, versions of which have been operational in the fleet since 1956. Observe our six pilots being saluted by their crew chiefs. These men are part of an elite group of maintenance specialists, equally important to the success of the squadron. They give the pilots the last-minute information concerning the status of their assigned aircraft. The Blue Angels are here to fulfill a mission, to show young people that Navy flying is a professional job, and to encourage them to take up careers in naval aviation, to become Navy pilots, and maybe even to become Blue Angels. have gone into this flight demonstration, day after day in the air, doing it over and over again. 
The whole idea is to be able to go up every time and fly it perfectly. That's what the Blue Angels are all about. Flying with the Blues is a study in teamwork, each pilot depending on the skill of the others. Look at this diamond formation, how the planes are pulled in as close as humanly possible. There's complete wing overlap, with only an arm's length separating canopy from wingtip. This is the tightest formation fly you'll ever see. solo takes the same degree of precision as the diamond pilots. But your main focus is on the timing of the maneuver. One second of error, just one. And the whole maneuver will be shifted away from the view of the audience by an eighth of a mile. But whether it's solo or diamond, a Blue Angel pilot knows that to perform these maneuvers, you've got to be able to push yourself to the limit. Along with teamwork, you've got to have concentration. There's a lot to lock in your mind. Your position on the leader and the wingman, your relation to the ground, and the constant radio chatter. Only the most professional of pilots can adapt their minds to this kind of flight. This is what it's like to fly with the Blues. What they do and the way they do it is something you never tire of watching. A perfect blend of man and machine that is poetry in motion, a ballet in the sky.
vigil demonstration builds to a climax with one of their most difficult maneuvers, the Delta Vertical Break. Here is where you face a real test of precision flying. Under power. Up you go to 8,000 feet and into the front half of a loop. And then you break. All six planes heading toward the six points of the compass. You're up to 500 miles an hour. You go into a half Cuban 8 reversal turn. Now all planes are heading back toward the center point, coming from the six points of the compass. If it's right, you'll have that kid effect. All six planes crossing each other at minimum separation. You'll accelerate until you're closing in at a thousand miles an hour. This is it. The six point cross. Live, work, and train for the group of men trying to achieve a goal. And you wait for it to happen. That moment when you can say, it was perfect. And that gives you a feeling that you never forget. It's the peak experience we all look for. That's the portrait of the Blue Angels. Five, two, eighty. Four you go, smoke on. A quarter miles. 